unforgiving wilderness. Many have come, few have triumphed. This is Africa. Welcome to Wallaby in the Wild. I am William Wallaby Winter, and today we are going to investigate the birds that are on campus. <laughs> <laughs> Wallaby first noticed the nests over spring break. I wear my trusty hat for protection. As you can see, the birds are all around our campus. Follow me as I go and ask a scientist for more information about this bird. Crikey, a lion! Thankfully, it was just trusty lakeside lion that I saw in the safari. Now, I'm going to ask Miss Day for information about this bird. Hi, Miss Day. Hi. Will you please give us some more information about this bird on campus? The American Cliff Swallow. Amazing. Thank you, Miss Day. You're welcome. Have a great time. Now that we know the bird's name, let's see what else we can learn. The American Cliff Swallow breeds from April to August, laying three to six eggs. They spend winters in western South America from Venezuela southwards to northeast Argentina as a migratory bird. They create burrows out of twigs and mud. They eat insects which are caught in flight. Because they're migratory, they are protected under the Migratory Bird Treaty Act. If you look closely, you can learn their markings. Look! Droppings! Let's investigate! Upon investigation, Wallaby learned that some of the eggs were falling out of the nest. These eggs are fragile and need to be protected. Sup, man? This is a season of loving. I be laying eggs, man. Woo! The, the birds, who build nests in large quantities, sometimes move eggs from one nest to another. Uh-oh, Wallaby looks like he went inside one of the nests. Let's see what he finds. Here, inside the swallow's nest, we can see the lying eggs. All right, man. Don't don't forget to wave. You see me out there, y'all. I might give you a little dropping on your head for good luck. Woo! <laughs> <laughs>